Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Bansal and in this video I will show you a small demo of the hospitality mode of the SAP Customer Checkout. As you probably already know, SAP Customer Checkout has three different user interface mode. The first one is the retail mode, the second is the kiosk mode and the third is the hospitality mode. And in this video, I will show you a demo of the hospitality mode. For hospitality mode, this is the core business process that I will cover. The customer walks into the restaurant and the waiter or waitress allocates a table to this customer. The customer orders some food and drinks. This information is sent to the kitchen or the bar. So the food items are sent to the kitchen and the drink items are sent to the bar. This has happened multiple times. The customer will keep on ordering and when he is finished, he wants to pay and when he pays, this whole transaction is complete. And this is the process that I want to show you in SAP Customer Checkout. So now the serving staff will log in and the first screen he or she will see is a list of all tables that are open for him or her. As of now, there are no tables open. As a customer walks in, the serving staff will allocate a table to the customer. And in this case, let's say table number 25. And now you see the sales screen of the hospitality mode. On the right hand side, you see a sophisticated quick selection with several tabs. And for each tab, there are different items. And on the left hand side, you see the sales screen where you see the different items which the customer has ordered. In the middle part are the various function buttons. So let's say the customer wants to start ordering and he orders a pizza. Then he orders chicken burger and he orders two coffee. It is very often the case that the customer also wants to say that hey first bring me the coffee and then later bring me the pizza or the other way around. This we call it as course selection. You can select a particular item, then click on the course selection function button and then select the course with which you have to bring the food item. Now that the customer has ordered what he wants to eat, the serving staff will click on the order button. As he clicks on the order button, this information is sent to the kitchen and the bar. If these are food items, this information is sent to the kitchen printer and if these are drinks, this information is sent to the bar printer. I do not have here now physical printers attached, but I have a simulator which acts as if there are two printers. And here you can see that first for table number 25, there is a printout for the kitchen printer and it says there is a pizza and there is a burger that has been ordered. Below you can see there is a printout for the bar and for the bar these are the two coffee that, that the customer has ordered. So you can configure in SAP customer checkout which item or item group should be sent to which printers. So now let's say the customer wants to order some further items. So the serving staff again selects the same table and now let's say he wants to order one more burger and in this case cheeseburger and when the serving staff clicks on the cheeseburger you see there is a pop-up this you can configure in the system so that you can enter some extra information about this order and in this case now I will say extra cheese and spicy and click on done so you can see that in the sales screen also this information is added that the customer has some special requirements and when the serving staff will order this item I will again open the print simulator and you can see in the print simulator this is printed so that the kitchen knows that their customer has some special requirements and the food needs to be prepared in this specific way. Now let's say that the customer wants to order few more items and in this case now I will enter a pizza menu. 
here I am connected to SAP business one so you see it is adding a flat item like pizza menu with some specific price on it I will switch now to a different customer checkout and this customer checkout uses SAP customer checkout manager as the backend and I want to show in the hospitality mode some additional functionality that you can use if you use SAP customer checkout manager as your backend or you replicate the articles also in SAP customer checkout manager so I will switch and go to a new customer checkout which is also running in hospitality mode but connected to manager as backend and here what you can do is when you click on menu and you select pizza menu the system knows that this is not a normal article but this is a menu and the menu has a drink and these are the options so you can select one drink then the system knows in this menu is also a pizza included and these are the four options for the pizza and you can select here the pizza and you can see in the sales screen this information is now added as a set with a reduced price but this is something which you can only use if you use SAP customer checkout manager as your backend I will switch again and go back to the normal business one mode because that is the focus for this video now that everything has been ordered by the customer it is now time to pay and it very often happens that when the customer wants to pay there were two people eating in the restaurant and they want to split the bill to support that we have something here called split and merge when you click on split and merge you can see all the different items that are there that has been ordered and you can select some item for example in this case I select these two item and I will transfer them to a different receipt here as you can see there are several options that we provide with the split but I've used the most basic option where I have moved two items from one transaction to the other and when I click on done so as you can see the table 25 got split into two transactions in the second transaction are the two items that I moved and in the first transaction are the other four items now I can for example pay and when I want to pay we support here cash payment we support here card payment and we support here voucher payment to keep this simple I will just pay with cash 24 euro 61 cents done now I want to show you that this transaction is posted to SAP business one and this transaction is also posted to SAP customer checkout manager so here you see the SAP customer checkout manager I will go in the receipts and the first transaction when I look into the sales item these were the four items that was ordered so this transaction is now in SAP customer checkout manager I will also go in the SAP business one system and search for this transaction so I go in SAP business one and here we create AR invoice for the receipt so I will search for this post transaction in business one and you can see that this transaction was created today and these are the four items that the customer has ordered this transaction is closed and when I go to the relationship map I can also see how was this paid and this was paid in cash and this was the amount that was paid so you see the transaction is posted to SAP business one in real time now I am back in SAP customer checkout I will show you now some more advanced functionalities let's say the customer orders some more food items and before this food item is ordered which is identified by this flying arrow 
in the sales item description let's say the customer decides to cancel this order so here it is very simple you can just click on cancel item and this item is striked out that means this information is not sent to the kitchen now let's say and again I will add another food item but I have already ordered it after the food item has been ordered the customer wants to now cancel this food item so you can still select on the on the article you want to cancel and click on cancel item and its system tells you that this item was already ordered so it will only create the same item with a negative quantity so that this information will go to the kitchen and if the kitchen has not already started preparing they can cancel it now let's say it is time to pay and this time I will pay with card so I go to pay card payment I select that it is paid with MasterCard and this transaction is also complete this transaction will also be posted to SAP business one and SAP customer checkout manager now let us continue and let's say this time we allocate table number 20 to the customer and the customer wants to order two pizza what is also possible is to change the quantity of the article or to give item discount or to give header discount or to change the price of the article and in this case I will make it 30 euros and will order these items it very often happens that the customer was sitting outside the restaurant in the open area and it started to rain and now the customer wants to move inside and that has a different table number so you can say move tables you can select the table that you want to move and you can give it the new table number in this case I will make it 207 so the customer has moved from table 20 to table 207 what also happens very often is that the shift of the serving staff is going to get over and he or she wants to hand over his or her table to someone else so for this we have the option called change owner you click on change owner then you will click on the table that you want to change the owner continue and you can select from the different serving staff who are working and you can give your table to another serving staff as a result the table will disappear from the current serving staff as you see on the screen and it is moved to the serving staff who is now the new owner in this case now I will click cancel to keep the table on this serving staff itself so that I can show you the next functionality now let's say that the day or the shift for the serving staff is over she wants to count her money and she wants to finish her shift so this process we call it as day and closing so the serving staff will click on day and closing so you can see that she has cashed in 100 euro in the beginning of the day next she can now count all the money that she has so now I made a note and I said 270 is what she has in cash and in MasterCard 14 euros and 28 cents were paid I go to the next step the system shows me that for MasterCard the amount is matching however for cash there is a 5 euro and 87 cents difference and a transaction called cash balancing will be created for this difference serving staff can go ahead and say that this is no problem um, she accepts this difference and she will leave no money in the box click on ok now all these transactions which are created in this process are all posted to SAP business one and also to SAP customer checkout manager so first let me go to the SAP customer checkout manager here when you did day and closing we create a transaction called sales summary when I go in the sales summary I can see that the status of the sales summary is consistent which means all transactions have reached SAP customer checkout manager and there was no problem 
when I go inside it I can see how many sales receipt were created how many other kind of transactions were created so in total seven transactions were created when I go in the receipt I can see all the different receipt that were created I can go in the receipt and see the details of the receipt as well in the same way I can go to cash transactions and I can see all the different cash transactions that were created in currency when I go in the detail I can see what was the money that was counted by the cashier 270 euro in this case and with MasterCard it was 14 euro and 28 cents so you see the summary is a very powerful transaction which binds together everything that the cashier has done throughout his or her shift so one last functionality that I want to show you is tip management until now in the demo to keep it simple tip management was switched off and here you can see that in the SAP customer checkout configuration now I have enabled tip management we support two types of tip management one is where the system is not keeping a track of your tip amount this means that the system will not keep a track of the tip amount but in the day and closing process it will give a chance to the serving staff to tell how much is the tip amount and to withdraw the tip amount from the box the second one is recorded tips in which the system keeps a track of the tip amount so for this demo now I will select record tips which means that the system will keep a track of the tip amount and this time I will select a fast table and just order to pizza and let's say the customer wants to pay and here as you can see the screen is already looking a bit different and now there is a possibility to enter also the tip amount let's say the customer pays 25 euro and says that the rest of the amount 4 euro and 77 is tip this tip you can enter for cash but you can also enter the tip for card or for voucher okay so I will make this as tip payment and to keep it simple I will immediately start day and closing now what is different in the day and closing process is in the last step you get a chance or the serving staff gets a chance to enter what is the tip amount and how much he wants or she wants to withdraw so I leave the suggested system amount and says that the system has correctly calculated 4 euro 77 as tip and this is the amount I want to withdraw and now in the last step I have to tell the system how much money I want to leave in the box so I say I want to leave 0 euro in the box the system tells me I have to withdraw 4 euro 77 as tip when I click on OK the same information is shown to me again that I have to withdraw 4.77 as the tip amount so this is all from my side so let's have a look again this is the business process that we have covered for the hospitality mode you can see that SAP customer checkout covers a lot of hospitality functionality I hope you liked the demo thank you so much